What's up guys, it's Town Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Severed. In the last episode, we got the temple gem, and um, that was eaten by a bird. And um, yeah, now we're going to be heading over to uh, the door that has now opened for us. And I think if I remember correctly, this is a boss battle, but I could be wrong about that, because again, don't have a really good memory of this game, and that's why I'm less playing it, so yeah. Um, Alright, we've got more crows here. Can I kill these? Oh, I actually can attack these guys. They don't really give me anything, though. They don't give me, like, giblets. Or, uh, anything else. Oh, look at the Temple of Ruby again. But it's cool that you can actually interact with them. And there's our dead brother, pretty much. I guess, okay, so I guess person that you play as, their family, I guess, got kidnapped, and maybe now we figure out that they're dead. Like, it's a little confusing, because they don't really tell you. Alright, so right now, we're starting our boss battle here. Oh, wow, okay, so, like, the birds will protect the, uh, oh, shoot. Now he's summoning birds here, which is kind of annoying. But I guess it kind of helps us because I think those birds will not uh, block his attacks anymore. Or block his weak point. So there we go. Ah, I messed that up. Yeah, we're not doing so good on HP anymore. That's, that's, it's pretty crazy though, the first boss in three hits can kill you. We're already down to two. But we're already down to one hit being able to kill me. Alright, at least we got our focus maxed, which is good. Yeah, you can tell this is a boss battle because there's a lot more HP. Birds are keep blocking my attacks. Okay, we're good. So it doesn't like, really seem like he's changing much anymore. Can I like... Okay, I can't. I thought I could like attack the birds on the top of him. But there we go. I'm gonna swipe away his wings here. Now his torso. And with that, we get the Mask of the Birds. And, um, yeah, this is kind of our secondary, I guess, ability. So as you can see right now in the right part of the screen, it's a little eyeball. Um, I forget what exactly I can do, but we're going to do it now. Or not. <laughs> oh, okay, we have to save our brother first, of course. Or our dead brother, to say. Cause it doesn't really look like he's alive. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. I just want to mention that we still have one arm, only one arm. We will get our second arm, um, or not our arm back, but a different arm, um, later on. So we're gonna place him on the bed right here. And now we got this guy again. Do not be discouraged. There he would have been devoured in this house. He can rest. Bring back the others and you can still be together again. So it's kind of weird. I get, like, you kind of see, um, where is it? Our family picture. Where the heck did it, I don't even know where it is anymore. I mean, it's obviously in this house, but I forget where. There's a mirror. Maybe it's down here. Oh yeah, here it is. So like, we have, this is our family here. And I forget, is there another picture? I remember there being another picture somewhere. That kind of depicts that. Like everyone said except for you. 
Maybe it's in that book. I don't know. Anyway, I think it will teach us our new ability soon. So, don't really have to talk about it. Alright, I guess I will talk about it once uh, it teaches us. And here we go. Uh, use your blind spell to stun enemies. So with that, just basically give us free time to attack. You can use your blind ability to stun one enemy while you attack the other. Okay, I, I know what it wants me to do now. So it wanted me to use this on one enemy and then attack the other one. But I wasn't paying attention, so I messed up that tutorial. Nice. Alright, we got all four arms there. That's good. Um, but yeah, now that we have this ability, I guess it'll tell us. Oh, look at you. You look better with that mask on. Yeah, humans are ugly things. We thought you were going to die for sure. Maybe that'll happen soon anyway. Or if not, the dragon will probably get you later. Are you looking for more humans? There was a place by the mountain to the east where they used to live. It's deserted now, but maybe you'll find something there. I had a friend that used to live there. He taught me to speak. Sometimes he'd give me giblets. Yes, yes. We were both there. So I guess he's talking about her father. Um, we can go back to, um, the temple that we were in before and use our now special ability, which I'll show you right now. It, uh, or maybe later, um, it can actually help us. So it basically just, like, opens a door now to either uh, new areas or to uh, treasure. Which are usually just heart pieces. But that's always good to have because as you saw with the boss, I almost died there. There was three shots and I was dead. I messed that up. So yeah, whenever there's a symbol like this eyeball, you just use your ability. I don't know if it wastes magic, because as you can see, there's a magic meter. I mean, we'll find out, but, um, yeah, I don't think it wastes any magic. It's only It only wastes magic when you're, um, in the battle. And then soon we'll get this, uh, ability to go through those areas also. But for now, we only have the... Eyeball ability or stun ability, as it's called. I forget what the uh, the other ability does, but um, again, we'll find out. I think what it does, I forget what it is. I think it either strengthens you, like gives you a um, short buff, or I, I forget what it does actually. Again, I completely forget about this game. I don't know why. Okay, we got three arms there. Not bad. Ooh, I almost messed it up. We got an upgrade there. Oh yeah, so we can also upgrade our abilities here. So, with uh, this new magic ability, we can increase mana regain by 5%, which is always good. Or we could blind duration increase by 1% also, or 1 second. Um, I think I might, I need like HP, so probably reduce incoming damage would be best for me. So let me go ahead and create three more arms, or three more hands, I should say. Or actually, no, it's just two. So let's go ahead and do that. 
because we need all the help we can get with uh, seeing our progression with that boss and almost dying in three hits which probably shouldn't happen for our first boss so I think I'm under level I think I'm more right now in the aggressive side or more offense than defense so I have to kind of get more defensive upgrades now so probably get some off screen by like um oh I didn't see that one um by like exchanging giblets for stuff and then using that stuff to upgrade nice we got a lot of giblets here so that's always good yeah I'll do all that boring stuff off screen alright so here we have this uh, bird here okay he attacks twice forgot about that and he basically attacks um, every time you attack and then he goes to a second phase here where you have to block and then attack block attack and he's dead um, usually get stuff from that I think you get wings if I'm correct um, we can't go here over yet but um, yeah I wasn't able to get to that uh, focus to max so yeah we can't go here yet basically uh, for this stuff you get like your sword powered up and you're able to charge it and then with that you're able to um, destroy those things All right, so here we have three portals I remember this we can't access them yet we need to put the crystal in them first but um we're gonna be getting our first crystal pretty soon alright we got another puzzle here Let's see what it says okay I think it's just telling us that we need the crystal to enter those doors I think we get our first crystal here yes we do yellow crystal acquired place in portal alright which one's yellow this one there we go. That one worm tunnels. Okay, we can't access that area just yet. It's very silent in here. I guess it makes sense because we're inside a worm. The Alaskan bullworm! Big, pink, or I forget what it is. It's like big, pink, and something else. Okay, now there's buffs. I remember this, too. I didn't think it was going to be this soon in the game, but okay. So basically, some enemies will have uh, buffs. Or I guess now all enemies because of... Uh, all enemies now because we're this far into the game. Where uh, this type of stuff happens. Uh, okay, got him. So yeah, two of them have speed up, which is really annoying because that will speed up their attack. And then the uh, other one has attack up, which you have to also kind of worry about because if he attacks you, it does a lot of damage. But we're good. Come on, really? Alright, we got our health back, which is always good. Did I miss something? Yes, I did. I got an arm there. Oh, wait, there's giblets in here, right? Yep. Ooh, a lot of good stuff here. Nice. Okay. Um, let's go back here. Gotta fight some more enemies. This one has defense up. This one doesn't have a buff, and this one doesn't have a buff. Okay. Stun him. Actually, that was probably stupid, because... Th those bird guys, they only attack when you attack. So it's really kind of a waste for me to, um... Kind of stun him, I guess. Ah, 
Ah, uh, I tried to get the focus from this guy to get his arms, but wasn't able to get it in time. Because he was going to attack me if I didn't. Or I guess I could have... Actually, I can't stun him. I was going to say maybe I could have stunned him. But I couldn't have. Nice, got all four there. It's really good. Ah. So this guy's really annoying because of defense up. And then he attacks twice. Okay, now he's in this phase. So you chop off the wings of each of them get his wings pretty much self-explanatory um we could upgrade our ability see the thing with me is that i don't really use the ability as much and as you guys can see so i'm gonna go with plus 10 bonus uh or 10 percent bonus damage for long slashes because i feel like that would be more beneficial to me um actually i probably should get this so that i can get this increases charge attack damage by 10 percent oh we don't have charge attack that's right okay so that's the thing that we unlocked uh, that I was talking about before. Alright, we need a key for that. Let's go ahead and heal. And we'll come back with that with a key. Alright, so now we're really inside the Alaskan bullworm. And uh, we gotta kill his uvula, uv uvula right there. Alright, so we're going downstairs now. And we got a new enemy. This guy, I remember him. So you have to attack his blue spots, and then once you do that, his weakness appears, which are those three. Um, they're not usually in this formation. Sometimes it's a little bit harder. But, um, oh yeah, and then, I hate that. Okay, it doesn't block your attacks, though. So sometimes you'll be able to um, attack one, um, like do more damage to one than the other. So you have to kind of, I thought it blocked your attack, but it actually doesn't. So it's not that bad as I thought it was. Alright, so we got a bunch of pots here. Got a lever here. Oh, okay, that's a trap. <laughs> oh my god. Is this six of them? I think it's six. Or is it seven? Or is it eight? I can't really tell. Okay, um, I have to like time this like perfectly. Don't really know how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stun one of them. This is really hard to do, by the way. If you couldn't tell. Especially because the difficulty curve went up really high just there. I guess because it's a trap door, so they want you to die. But it's honestly just like too hard for me. So like you're so used to like attacking two or three enemies. This one's just like, nope. We're gonna put six of these in here. All right, let me just get rid of this one at least. There we go. Got rid of one. Pretty much seven more to go. Got rid of two. Almost missed the eyeball there. Okay, this time I actually could probably time it correctly. But I missed it already, so... We can't. Okay, I got that one. Now I got this one. Oh, come on. I'm surprised these guys don't have buffs. Cause like I said before, this is like the part of the game where a lot of the uh, enemies now have buffs. But luckily they don't because there's six of them this time. Now we're down to one. And there we go. Alright, I got a lot of eyeballs there though, so that's good. Now we're going back upstairs. 
avoiding the trap. Oh, okay, that gives us a brain piece. Okay, so in this game we have heart pieces like I like we've had before, but those brain pieces now, if we um, get enough of them, they will increase our MP or our, was it called MP in this game? I have no idea. I don't really remember. All right, so now we're inside the Alaskan bullworm. Oh, we have to fight an enemy here too. Yeah, see, it's not so nice when um in these type of formations sometimes can be really annoying for these enemies. Like as you can see, this guy. Okay, now we just have this one left. Okay, that's right. So with this enemy also, if you hit the blocked area, he'll start gaining more of the uh, other things. Like more of the uh, little orb things, whatever you want to call them. Alright, I want to go here first. Should I? Actually, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Be more protective. Okay, that actually doesn't fool you or heal you fu fully. I didn't know. Alright, so we're inside the Alaskan bullworm again. Alright, this guy isn't as bad. So you can just constantly attack him. And we also got body parts there, which is always good. But this time, okay, we have two enemies. Oh my god. And he has attack up. Okay, great. Ah, I missed that. That's my opportunity there. God. Oh my god, I missed that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. There we go. I wasn't really expecting that. Alright, so yeah. <clears throat> it's not game over, it's to your last auto save. I forgot about that. So that's pretty, I guess, nice of them to do that. No, oh, I didn't get any parts there that whole time. Which kind of sucks. Because I also noticed that I got, like, a upgrade available after that. But now I don't. Alright, got him. Nice. Okay. I got the focus just in time, which is also really good. Because the annoying thing about him was that he had he, this guy's attack up, so you want to attack the other guy though because he charges his attack while he just this guy attacks that randomly, and so you have to attack the other one, but you want to attack this guy and kill him first. All right, there we go. Finally, got an upgrade. Either blind duration increased by one second, or increased mana regain by five percent. I'll go with this one, I guess. Because why not? Alright, I'll probably end the episode soon, though. Got our key here. Nice. Got some more giblets. Is there another jar there? No, just a box. Alright. Got our health back. Going upstairs now. Alright, I'll end the episode after this guy. Oh yeah, I could have used my blind attack on this guy in the last uh, fight that we did. Alright, now we 
I got two guys. So yeah, this time I'll use my blind on this guy who has speed up. And then attack this one. Oh my god, seriously? I literally just missed it. We gotta go fast. All right, we're good now. Thankfully, we got that uh, HP stuff. We can now unlock here. Get some more HP. And when's the auto save? Oh, we got the crystal. Okay. This is for. Okay, this is one of the pieces for the next. Um, portal so um yeah i think i think there off screen i'll probably make a bunch of stuff with those giblets that i got and probably get a bunch of uh, upgrades so i'll do that off screen but um anyway thank you guys all for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more severed right here on tone neck bye